we've bought two nearly identical Renault Clio 182s. And over the course of the next year, we want to turn these two cars into the ultimate road going car, which you can take to the track. We're going to compare my shed life budget versus Ryan's high end budget. We're going to see which one's better value for money, which one we prefer, and most of all, which one gives us the most performance. Now you're probably wondering how much we paid for these sheds. Ryan, how much did you pay? I paid £3,700 for this shed. And as you may recall, at the start of the video, I said these were nearly identical. So both cars have uprated engine mounts and fruity exhausts. Rob, what did you pay for your car? Now I paid £3,800 and for that extra £100 I got a remap, a steering wheel, an intake and some lowering springs. Now that's pretty much all of the differences and similarities in our cars. Um, Ryan, what are we going to do? I think we're going to head off to Cadwell Park, so let's go. Whoa, 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 we've got to do some tinkering first. <laughs> Welcome to Cadwell Park. We're ready to test the Clios. We're going to spin some laps, see which car is faster because we're going to jump in both cars Please. and which bits we like on each car. And then once we've done those laps, we'll let you know the lap times and what bits we like and we hate. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Don't take the piss out of my racing lines because I'm still getting used to it. The car warm up and have more. Here's Ryan, you like to see it. Mr. Gear, there we go, always fun. Here's Ryan again. to go past so I think that was my lap done. I don't think I did too bad. I went from go-karting now to this so it's obviously a lot different, a lot lot different. So let's warm up these tyres. We have a fast as hell Renault behind us. That thing is quick. Right time for a flying lap. Okay, I can break the lock later up here. Unless my brakes are faded. As you can tell, you've got to concentrate quite a bit when you're out on track. And this feels very soft, as it's near standard. So if you are coming to a track, make sure you've got some suspension, which is up to the job, because this stuff's probably original. And while it's all right, it's definitely got room for improvement. Oh, smells like brakes, man. God damn. Oh, it definitely smells like brakes. There's the car keys. Come on. Trade. Right. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, your clutch is already different. Oh, I'm scared. Your clutch is horrible. Is yeah. Blech. Blech. Oh god. I already don't like this. It feels so much different to mine. It's just night or day difference obviously I've got the lowering springs um, what else have I got heavier clutch I don't know if I'm about to enjoy this because he's got normal suspension right. he's already knocking as well 
spill and why it's knocking. Clutch is different. Jesus. I can already feel the body roll and I haven't even gone out for two seconds yet. Oh no. Everything is so different. It's amazing what small bits of mods can change a car and make it feel so different. This steering wheel is horrible. Ryan, I know when you're editing this, you're going to be hearing all this, but your car is terrible. Please upgrade it. Oh my god, the back end. Jesus. I don't even want to like rag this too much, and I've not even been out half a lap yet. I don't like it. I'm going to give him that. Uh, these ones are gripping so much better. But to be fair, I do have um, different tyres in each corner. I'm not as confident with how much body roll this has though. I feel like the whole car is just about to tip over. Like the tyres give me faith, but nothing else. I see what you mean. It does like power at that point, but mine doesn't. Although tyres do make night or day difference, so give him that. But he needs to start the suspension and everything because this is too floaty. Now don't get me wrong, it still handles pretty well from what mine feels like compared to his. Night or day difference, night or day. Now if I had better tyres, it would be obviously a lot of difference. But let's get back into the pits, swap the cameras over and um, you can see the perspective from Ryan's view in my car. That'd be interesting. I reckon he's going to say it performs so much better, but the tyres are shocking. That'll be my bet. That'll be my bet. Don't slag my car off too much, please. Ten mile an hour, dickhead. <laughs> Here we go. So first things I notice in Rob's car is that it's a lot firmer because of the lowering springs, which in turn makes it really good when you go around the corners. I can go so much faster around this corner than I can in mine because mine is just so soft and you get so much more feel on the brakes, on the throttle, it's just much, much better. So I think the first modification I'm going to be doing to my car is upgrading the suspension. It is night and day different and I honestly can't put into words how good it is. You can just chuck it round the corner and those tyres stick. So my tyres are a lot better than Rob's. Yet even though he's got different tyres on every corner, the suspension just makes it stick. I honestly can't praise it enough. This is a great little car and the difference between mine and his is that his feels alive. I'm absolutely loving this thing. In mine, I'm enjoying it, but you get in this and it feels like a race car. I love this thing. Let's do a flying lap in Rob's car. Right, Rob's car really doesn't like going into third, so Rob, if you've got a gearbox coming soon, my apologies. Helps if you don't miss the apex. So what I think I'm learning, as I'm sure many people will tell me in the comments, is you need to look way ahead of where you're going. Not the two centimeters in front of you, way further up the road. Because you do that and you are much quicker. Apexes. Now hopefully that was a somewhat okay lap time but only the GoPros will tell us later on as you're not allowed to time on UK track days if you didn't know. So we will see what the both of us has done and what times both of us have got in each other's cars and then we've got something to build on as we gradually modify these cars. We've arrived back from Cadwell Park. What an amazing day it was. 
And surprisingly, our French bits of scrap actually made it there and back with no issues. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Now, our track times, we did this more to the start of the day. So we didn't actually get our improvements, which we will learn for next time to do better. Our times, mine was a 2 minutes and 2.16 seconds, which isn't too bad, especially for my first track day. My lap time was a 204.13 which what, lots of room for improvement indeed rob's car might be a little bit faster but still not too bad and then we swap cars so this when we where it got a bit surprising definitely when we swap cars we both got two minutes dead except rob was 0.05 which is a second slower yeah that's nothing though it's not when you think of you've basically got a completely stock car and i'm getting to some obviously performance it's a slight race car yeah slightly more of a race car but what I'm trying to say is, I think Rob did the better job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome. <laughs> and next time you see these things, we're going to be modifying them a bit. And we're going to tell you a little bit more when we jump inside what we're going to be doing. We both agreed the first thing we need to do to the Clio's is change the gear shifter. It's too far away and it's too low. We want to change to a short shifter, which will move the gear shift up here. So it'll be nearer to us and a bit higher, making it more comfortable and should allow us to make some quicker lap times. One thing I do need to change is tyres. These are terrible. They're all cheap knockoff brands and none of them match. When driving lines, brand new Pirellis, they grip so much better around every corner and just felt a lot better. So when I upgrade, I'll probably go for something like Nankan Semi Slicks or something along them lines. You know, upgrade the performance, get me a better lap time and get me some better grip. Next time you see us on Shed Life UK, we're gonna be doing some modifications and upgrading some parts. So over the course of the year, I'm gonna be spending lots of money Rob, not so much. And if you want to see what we do to the Clio's, please subscribe, like the video, put a comment down below of what mods you want to see, and we'll see you next time. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.